Roman Gray Stadium. And it appears it's, it's the point leader. leader, yes. And you can hear the crowd here at Bowman Gray reacting. I just caught the fence off of two and it fit a fence right front of the bench. He's won here tonight in Winston-Salem. This is not my favorite track to race on, but if I was going to win a race this year, this would be the one I want to be. I mean, the win at Bowman Gray puts me right there in the history books. And at Bristol. Trouble back straightaway. Smoker, L.W. Miller, the winner at Bowman Gray. Now the car that looks really good out in this racetrack, James Savali. That could be the pass for the lead as Savali closes right up on the two-leader. Tonight, the South will rise again as the NASCAR Wheelin' Southern Modified Tour marches into the Caraway Speedway at a track where the last three Southern Modified champions were crowned. Just down the road from the King's Museum. 600 horsepower comes to life next on Versus. as Versus presents the Triad Commercial Properties 150. And we welcome you all to Caraway alongside Mr. Excitement, Jimmy Spencer. I am Eric Freed. This is race number seven of ten on the tour this season, and it is so tight at the top. Right now, it's James Savali at the top with L.W. Miller giving chase. And what's interesting, in the last two races, these guys have switched to point leads back and forth. Thing is, L.W. six wins at this racetrack, Caraway. He calls himself the king of Caraway. <laughs> but Savali, the best finish for him, a third place here at Caraway. But right now, Eric, he is the king because he is the points leader. Look how close they are right now in this points race. Only five points separating first and second with Savali on top. Savali took the top spot for the Southern Mods at Bristol. Miller won at Bowman Gray before that, and they are now five points apart. For more, here's Rob Clipper. Well, thanks a lot, Eric. And when we talk about championships, guys, it's all about consistency. But here at this racetrack, your current points leader has been very consistent. Two third place finishes, but tonight, James Savali, we got to pass a few cars. We're starting inside row number four. How do we tackle this Caraway Speedway tonight? Uh, you got to take what positions are given to you early, save the tires as much as you can, and uh, be there at the end. Uh, there's a lot to be said for making it to the front early, you know, leading as many laps as you can because there's extra points in leading most laps. So we're going to do our best to get out to the front early. He's going to have to get to the front early, guys. And the guy that he is chasing this year, just five points back in the points, has the best seat in the house, and he is starting on the pole. Former champion. They call him the King of Caraway, Jimmy Spencer. I know you love that nickname, but he has gotten it done six of 11 times in his career with the Wheel and Southern Modifying Tour right here. L.W. Miller, best seat in the house, the draw in your favor. What's the plan here tonight? Five points back in the title. Can we get that points lead back? Yeah, I, I think we can. You know, James, I'm sure, is going to run good. Andy's going to run good. The 25 car. There's a bunch of cars here that are running real well today. Uh, you know, we qualified second, redrew the pole, so I'm real happy with that. Last time here, I started on the outside pole. We led 149 of 151 laps. Just messed up a little bit at the end. So, uh, you know, Baker Motorsports, Ray Mock Racing Engines, chassis on MX race cars. Uh, they all put a great race car under me, so it's my job to go out there and ride, I guess, and uh, hopefully we can lead all 150 tonight. L.W. Miller, guys, I tell you what, he finished second here two times so far this season. Let's go back top, Eric. L.W. doesn't lack for confidence, and the luck of the draw has him inside row one. We've had five different winners in the first six races on tour. Will someone else find victory lane tonight? The green flag flies next on Versus.